Hey everybody, welcome back. Happy New Year. Today's going to be my first video of the new year and my first haul for the new year. Um, I want to say I wish y'all had a happy 2020 and <laughs> stuff like that, but uh, we all know it's been a crazy year. I'd like to be an optimist though and say that 2021 is going to be a better one. Let's hope so at least. I'm going to show you guys what I did today. Okay, so today was my day off and I decided to go check out the Dollar Tree. I was really going there with no intention um, to get anything. I mean, I know I'm going to get something, but I had no specific item that I wanted to get. But when I saw these plastic bins, when I first entered the store, this marvelous idea popped into my brain. Um, I, so I wound up getting two of these plastic storage bins. And what my idea was, I wanted to organize um, some smaller items in my pantry, first of all. And then I started thinking I wanted to create some kind of a first aid kit at home, an organized first aid kit. Um, I have one in my bug out bag that stays there all the time. But I wanted to create somewhere for like first aid and medicine, like a to-go medicine cabinet, I guess you would call it. Um, I have stuff in my medicine cabinet, but if I have to, you know get out of the house, bug out, you know, I don't really have an easy way of gathering all that stuff up. So I wanted to get one of these and see, I'm going to try to do it while I'm going through what I bought here. I'm going to see how much stuff I can fit in these and create like a little to-go medicine cabinet slash first aid kit. So I'm going to kind of go down the first aid kit stuff first, show you what I got. Um, obviously I already have a bunch of ibuprofen and acetaminophen, but I got a 40 caplet box of the ibuprofen and then 40 of the acetaminophen. These are about the same exact price as you would find them for at Walmart, maybe two or three cents more actually, but need that kind of stuff in the house, obviously. Um, I saw these for the first time ever, pain relief patch. It's a medicated patch with camphor, menthol, and something else um, in it. There's 20 small patches, and these are kind of just for, you know, aches and joint pains and that kind of thing. You know, you sprain something, you have a backache. When my back hurts, I do wear the larger ones of these um, by Salon Poss. And so I thought that would be a good thing to have. I don't know how it's all going to fit in here, but I'm just going to add it in slowly. Eye drops. Um, if you get some kind of dirt or debris in your eyeball, you're <laughs> going to want some saline drops to wash it out, to rinse and flush your eyes, instead of just regular water, which can irritate it. So, eye drops a good thing to have. That's going in there. Got some more Band-Aids. These are a pretty good price. Um, for fabric band-aids compared to Walmart. So I got two of the regular boxes of fabric band-aids, 30 each. And then I got one of the knuckle and fingertip band-aids. Because regular band-aids don't fit very well like on the end of your finger or your toe if you injure yourself. So I'm going to try to fit those. Okay. I, I think I'm going to take like these out of the box to clear up some space and that out of the box. What else do I have? Okay, so some triple antibiotic ointment. This is a very small bottle, I can tell. Um, but that's just for putting on a wound so it doesn't get infected, that kind of thing. And it helps with um, pain. So I'll put that in there. Got some athletic tape. This is the really good thick and sticky tape. And my thoughts were... For securing bandages, securing gauze, and like wrapping around your ankle or your wrist if you sprain something. I have some gauze and a bunch of other stuff I'm going to add to this that I got from the Dollar Tree like a few months back. And then I got two of these elastic bandages. So these are, these are more for like your ankle sprain. I'm going to take these out to show you. Remember these? Uh, to me, this is like an old-fashioned thing, but <laughs> um, put these little clips on there after you wrap it around. 
your ankle or your sprain or whatever it is that you have. So I got two of these. I'm running out of space in this little one. I'm playing um, Tetris in the box, try to see how many things I can fit in there. And let me just tell you, if you have OCD, trying to organize things in boxes like this is awesome. I love doing it. <laughs> uh, I got antibacterial travel wipes. So there's 30 total, two small packs of 15. So all around just a good thing to have. I don't think it's going to fit in the box. Oh, it fit. Nice. Um, what else? Oh, I got these little travel bottles because I thought I could put some hydrogen peroxide in here. Maybe some rubbing alcohol and something else um, to put in my first aid kit, you know, um, to clean out cuts and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to fit that in there. I'll just set it on top. A pair of tweezers because there's nothing like getting a nasty little splinter and you can't get it out. Um, or if your eyebrows are going crazy and you need to pluck your eyebrows in an emergency situation. <laughs> um... And then this, I found this in the little checkout area, you know, when you're putting all your stuff on the conveyor and then they have the little area of weird things that you just have to look at because you're waiting for the person to scan your stuff. So I thought that might be a good idea. It's a little flashlight with a built-in magnifier and kind of along the lines of getting a splinter or something. Like if you've ever gotten a piece of glass or... Um, I don't know, anything stuck in your skin, you can't actually see it to get it out. I thought this would be amazing, paired with the tweezers. And it's a little tiny flashlight, very low profile, so kind of a cool thing to have. Um, what else did I get? Oh, some hand warmers. Well, I guess this is not really first aid related, so let's skip past that, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I thought a first aid kit slash medicine cabinet would be a good thing to have so with um everything that's going on right now um if hospitals do get to the point where they're overwhelmed you know if we start seeing more cases more people are getting hospitalized and i live in a small town um, our hospital does not have a high capacity so if i were at home and something happened like just a small emergency, a small injury, a small sickness, anything like that, and my hospital was so overwhelmed that they couldn't take me in, I want to be prepared at home to have everything, well, maybe not everything, but as much as I could possibly have to take care of me and my son, or I'm sorry, my son and I. Um, so that's my thoughts, you know, have, have some things at home that you don't need to rely on a hospital just in case they get overwhelmed. I haven't seen it yet in our town, but just saying, it could happen. <laughs> so yeah, that fit in there pretty good. Now the rest of this stuff is kind of completely random. I'm gonna start here in the middle with chocolatey covered marshmallow snowmen. And the reason I got these and so many of them is one, my son loves these. Two, they were marked down, <laughs> so they're super cheap. There were four for a dollar, so each of these things was 25 cents. And how can you say no to 25 cent pack of marshmallow chocolate snowmen? So my son was happy to see that when I picked him up today. <laughs> um, and then this stuff here is all kind of like household cleaning related. I did, for the first time, see disinfectant spray, like a generic Lysol spray at um, Dollar Tree. I've never seen this before. So I grabbed four bottles of that. It was very hard to find and still is hard to find in a lot of areas. So I feel like I could be like the hero of the neighborhood if anyone needs it. <laughs> Got four of those little ones. And then this, oops, kind of the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's one of those as seen on TV things. So obviously it's weird. And can't say that I believe the claims that are made here, but um, I thought of my sister when I saw this actually, because my sister's like a big germaphobe. She's probably gonna watch this video. Hey, sister, I'm probably gonna send this to you. 
um, I don't know, it's a UV light, disinfecting light, that's supposed to, it claims, kills 99.9% .9 of harmful viruses, germs, and bacteria. And you just like, it's like a magic wand, you wave over stuff. <laughs> you just kind of put it over everything. Um, oh yeah, and the sister I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do this, but... Um, Okay, if you guys do this, I'm not mocking you. I'm just saying. She wipes down the bags in all her groceries when, when she brings them in the house. So I thought, because that's so time-consuming, this would be so much easier. So I'm going to send that to her, probably. And then also, um, my son has really bad allergies, and I hear that UV lights are really good. You can actually put these inside your AC cabinet. Um, or put a UV light inside your AC cabinet where the air is pulling through and it, it kind of like disinfects um, the air as it pulls through the air conditioning system. So maybe I'll put a couple of these in my AC cabinet. I just had to change the batteries out all the time. I don't know. Anyway, grabbed a couple of them because they looked kind of cool. And then a ginormous bottle of... Oops, knocking stuff over. Uh, dishwashing soap. I am a Dawn person, personally. I usually don't use anything but Dawn, but this I couldn't say no to. Um, it's huge, and it's just going to go in my garage as a backup. And then what else I got? Okay, yeah, back to the hot hands. Where I'm at, it doesn't get tremendously cold, but this is something I'm going to throw a couple of, maybe three, or how many did I get? Yeah, I'll put three of these in each of my bug out bags. They last pretty long. It says it expires in 2024. So, good thing to have this. If you do live in a cold area, this is a must-have. Um, but I also thought, if you have some kind of injury or something that you need to put a hot pack on, um, what are they? you get like a boil or something, like an inf uh, infection, you know, some, something bites you and you need to put a warm compress on it. That's what these could be good for. Um, I got some more tea lights, 20 tea lights for a dollar. So I got two of those, even though I already have a 200 pack of tea lights, the same unscented white tea lights. Um, on Amazon, I got a 200 pack, which is nice. And then I got four of these candles, the tall, plain white, unscented, you know, Nothing special that's going to make you, um, you know, if you have perfume allergies, that kind of thing, you can get these. They have no scent at all. So that's just in case of power outage. Random floss. This is stuff that has nothing to do with prepping, but I'm showing you anyway. I got this because I have a pitcher, but it's ginormous. In case you didn't realize, I love the word ginormous, um, but I hate putting... Um, orange juice in my huge one because it fills it up like that much and then when I do the dishes I have to wash this huge pitcher it's like that big um, and I only filled it halfway with orange juice so this is <laughs> gonna be much better and save on the washing I guess uh, I got some coarse grain pink Himalayan salt this is a pound for a dollar if you're a um, pink Himalayan salt person go to the Dollar Tree for it because it's super duper cheap and then more of these dog bones I get every time for my dog. This is like puppy prepper pantry goods. So yeah, that's my little haul for the day. Um, I suggest going into a Dollar Tree if you have one um, every once in a while just to see what they have. Sometimes you get some really good deals. And this is a good way to get some prepper related items for cheap. This is all like prepper stuff here um, and build up your stockpile at a low cost. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, um, if you want to, like and subscribe so you can see more videos. I'm a new prepper, and I'm trying to show you guys how I'm getting it done just to encourage you to start your prepper pantry and start prepping in general. Take care, guys. Bye.